Hi guys, how are you doing? I'm Marina Gatti Fola. I'm a healer, I'm a seer, I'm a multidimensional being. And of course, I'm a starseed. I'm the admin of the Arcturian group. <laughs> I know a lot of things, right? But name, a name does make a change, right? So if I wouldn't say Arcturian, you wouldn't know what, it, what I'm talking about, right? If I wouldn't say starseed, you wouldn't know what I'm talking about. So... When I say I am Aurena Agathe Fola, and you close your eyes and you just say and listen to the words Aurena Agathe, it gives a vibe, it gives a frequency, right? And you can refer that name to a person. Do you know when you had a bad experience as a child with a Tom or a Bianca or whatever, and every time you hear this name, you have this negative imprint in you because of that person from your childhood but if you just take the name and just the frequency it does something with you yesterday i met my lovely moderator friend here in uh, argentina and uh, lucia and we were talking about names and i said hey what's your real name and then she said oh my real name is so and so and then i said okay do one thing right now because we spoke about nicknames and I want to say and why I'm talking today about names is that your name is powerful. If you have an issue with your name since you've been born and if you don't like your full name and you keep changing and or people call you some nicknames and they call don't call you by your full name or if you're a parent and you have a child and you don't call your child by your, the full name. My question to you is why did you give your child a name and you don't call your child by this name? And if you call a person not by their full name, but you keep giving them nicknames, why do you do that? In the past, I had, um, I have a friend and every time we had a very important meeting with some really important people, he would call me Bunny. And I got so pissed. I said, you know what? I have a name and I don't appreciate you calling me Bunny in front of everyone. And then I was doing some research energetically and I was thinking, why is he doing that? And because I don't like nicknames. I like when people call me by my full name because my name has a meaning. And one second. <laughs> I just went down to get some food. Uh, I'm in Argentina and I'm going tomorrow, uh, like to the night back to Paraguay. So I feel a soul name. Your personal name is so powerful. Like my name, Agate. I got it from my dad and it's so powerful and I have noticed when I sometimes when people tell me their name and I'm not able to speak and spell their name it's because they're not in alignment with their name if your parents gave you a name it happened for a reason if you feel uncomfortable with your name I want you today to take your name go to the internet go to Google and find out the meaning of your name you will be very surprised some people reject their name but it also is a rejection of themselves and their personality. Yes, it's good to have a soul name, but your soul mind is a fragment of what you are. Your name is a fragment of what you are, but still it is an imprint and expression of yourself. I don't have an issue with my name, but if you do, then please look into it why you have that. Because each word, each name has a frequency. If I say Agate, if I say Bianca, if I say Natalia, if I say Luisa, if I say Tom, if I say Peter or Johan or Xavier, they all have a different energy, a different vibration. Please look into that and don't call a person always by their nicknames. Call a person by their full name. And if you want to give a nickname, then don't give a cheap nickname. Like in Germany, we have this fashion that men call their women mouse. I'm thinking, why would a man call a woman mouse all the time? A mouse is tiny. Most of the times people say, oh, mouse is sweet. But in reality, what people do is they want to get rid of the mouse. And a mouse is very tiny, right? So does it mean a man wants a woman to be tiny? It's always, if you have a nickname, give a loving, caring, beautiful nickname, which is on eye level. And if you have a soul name, a soul name is for you and you can use it, but don't use it all the time because it's a part of you. 
So just try it out, play around with your name. And if you're wondering yourself how you get your soul name, you will know the best. A name can change while you're getting older and while you're getting um, through different stages in life. But the name your parents gave you, you got for a reason. And please integrate that energy. Close your hearts, put your hands on the heart. Uh, sorry, close your eyes, put the hands on your heart. Speak your name loud and fully. How does it resonate with you? How does it feel? Breathe it into your heart and let it expand. You will see some changes because there's even numerology according to your name, which also gives a certain frequency. Like I'm a number, like my birthday is number 33, it's a six. So for me, it's about self-love. For me, it's about serving humanity. For me, it's the park, um, walking the path of love. And even my name has that number. So it's very, the number six is very significant for me, right? So just figure it out, try it out. And if you need any support and, and um, insights about who you are, your starseed origin or you being a starseed um, and your past lives. I made a course, it's called Starseed Activation. It's a four week course. You can do it either with me one on one or online. Um, then just try it out because the most important part is to know who you are. When you know who you are, it's so difficult to manipulate you. No one will try to because they will feel your power from inside of you. And the activation course helps you also to activate your psychic abilities and to bring them back. Love you guys so much. Greetings from Argentina. It's quite cold right now, but I'll talk to you soon.